In this lecture, we are going to learn how we can increment or decrement the value of a field in a document. We can of course simply go ahead and set the value to a specified number by simply using dollar set operator. But sometimes you might not be aware of the current value of a field whose value you want to increment or decrement. In that case, increment operator can be very useful. Also, increment and decrement operation in an application is quite a common task. And that's why MongoDB provides a specific operator for that. And that operator is called as $INC. So for example, let's say you want to increment the current value of age field by 2. For that, you have this $INC operator. So basically what we are doing is, first we are searching the document based on this name. So we are searching the document where the name is John. And then we are trying to update the age field of that document using this increment operator. So let's say if the current age is 30, we want to increment the age to 32. So when you provide a positive number, in that case, the increment operator is going to increment the value by that number. But if you provide a negative number, in that case, this increment operator is going to decrement the value of that field by that number. Okay. And increment operator can be used on number fields. Keep this point in mind. Let's go ahead and let's understand this increment operator with some examples. So let's go to this products.json file. And there, let's say we want to increment the price of this first document by, let's say, 1. So currently it is 149. We want to increment it by 1 and change it to 150. So First of all, I'm going to query the products collection. From there, I'm going to copy the ID of the first document. Okay, let's try to update this document where the price is 399. So I'm going to copy the ID of this document. And let's go ahead and let's write the update command. So again, let's say db.products.update1. Here I'm using update1, but you can also use this increment operator with update many. So let's first specify the filter criteria. So here I want to filter the document by ID. Let's assign the ID which we just copied. Then the second argument will be an object where we are going to use $INC operator because here we want to increment the value of a field. Now, which fields value we want to increment? We want to increment the value of price field. And by how much we want to increment it? We want to increment it by one. So the current price is 399. The new price should be 400. Or maybe let me increment it by 100. So the new price should be 499. Let's copy this. Let's go to Mongo shell and let me clear the shell here by typing CLS command. Let's paste the command which we just copied and let's press enter. So you see match count is one, modified count is one. Let's go ahead and let's query the products collection and let's scroll up. So for the first product, we changed the price to 499. Basically, we incremented the current price by 100. So previous price was 399, we incremented it by 100. So this is the use of increment operator. You can increment the value of a numeric field by some specified value. Now, if I specify a negative value here, in that case, the value will be decremented by that many value. So, for example, in this case, again, if we go ahead and run this command, current price is 499, it will be decremented by 100 and it will be 399. So, what I'll do is I'll change it to 200. So, let's say we want to decrement the price by 200. Let's copy this command. Let's again clear the shell. Let's paste the command which we just copied. And if I press enter, you will again see match count is one, modified count is one. Let's query the products collection and let's scroll to the first document. And now you will see the price has been decremented to 299. So this is the use of increment and decrement operator. Now, one more thing which you need to remember is that with the increment operator, let's say you also want to update some other fields that is also possible for that after this increment operator you can use dollar set operator and you can set 
some fields for example let's say we want to set the available to true okay and this time instead of decrementing i'm going to increment the price by 200 so here first i'm incrementing the price field value by 200 and then i'm also updating the available field to true let me go ahead and let me copy this command and let's paste it here and if i press enter it should increment the price by 200 and it should set the available field to true let's query the collection again let's go to the first document and here you will see available is true and the price has changed to 499 so in this way we can also use dollar set operator with dollar increment operator now what we cannot do is let's say you are incrementing the price field and then you're also trying to set the price field with a given value so for example here instead of available if i try to set the same price field to maybe let's say 500 this is not possible because here we are using this increment operator to increment the price value by 200 and then we are also trying to set a new value for this price field so in this case we should get an error let me copy this and let's clear the shell let's paste the command and if i press enter you will see that we are getting an error and it's saying that updating the path price would create a conflict at price because here we have a conflict we are trying to increment the price as well as we are trying to set a new value for the price and that's why we have this error so you cannot use this dollar increment operator and this dollar set operator on the same field at the same time so this was about increment operator we also have other operators which we can use with update operation and we are going to learn about it in our next lecture this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.